Oh, what kind of a professor am I? I like to think that I'm the guy who challenges people by looking at, looking at them in their eyes. I want to be more than anything a professor who loves the students. Garrett, Dr. Gary Bonner, who was the founding dean of the School of Music here, uh, brought me here in 2008. I had known him since 1998, received my master's degree underneath him when he was at Azusa. And he called me and ruined my Thanksgiving one year because I lived up on the Central Coast and said, you know, I'd like for you to come and direct some choirs here at CBU and teach some composition. So, uh, and the other thing that he challenged me with was to get my doctorate, which I did from Claremont, graduating in 2011. So, really, I'm here at CBU because of him and his mentorship in my life. Dr. Ellis was talking yesterday about how his call is to build a university committed to the Great Commission. My call is to be a musician who shares the gospel through my music. Every one of my students has a different call like that. That's what I want to try to help them become, whatever their unique call is. If I could impart anything to my students, it would be that they have a unique gift that God is asking them to go into the world with, develop it to the most potential that they possibly can, like the parable of the talents, and then allow God to work through them as they are the light of the world, they are the salt of the earth. And to get them to realize that, that they have something worth giving and something worth doing and something worth studying for, all the, all the work, it's worth it. One of the things I'm very grateful for was uh, th this award, the Distinguished Scholar Award, was given to someone in the fine arts, in the performing arts. Um, I'm very, very grateful that CBU recognized that the arts are an area of scholarship. The amount of research that I did on Dietrich Bonhoeffer, um, even in the music, in the writing of the music, there's so much research and knowledge in things that you are doing on a subliminal level that um, it's scholarship. There's just no other way to get around it. You have to study and it's years of discipline for a moment of freedom. You know, my whole life, my favorite Bible verse has been Romans 8, 28. God works all things out for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. I have just found that to be true. Another one is John 10, 10. I, I came that you might have life and have it abundantly. I feel like I really am the guy who's got the abundant life. My mom says, Glenn, you live a charmed life. She's from Boston. You know, one of the things that I learned in writing Dietrich and Maria is, is that writing musicals seems to be, I finally found my groove. <laughs> Here I am, 67 years old. I love writing musicals because they allow me to write melody, which is something that's not always valued in music. Uh, they allow me to tell a story and they allow me to orchestrate, which is another one of my great loves, orchestration. And uh, the ability to write for them. So I'm working on another musical. I'm, my plan right now is to be, well, I'm doing research right now on Frederick Douglass. I just think that would be an amazing musical to write something about him and his life escaping slavery and having such a huge influence, including on people like Abraham Lincoln. So that's the next big project.